Hi, my name is Edgar Valderrama Medina. I work as the Immigration and Refugee Protection Manager here at the FCJ Refugee Center. The Immigration and Protection Area focuses on supporting people with all ranges of immigration status, ranging from visitors, international students, people without status, refugee claimants, appellants, rejected refugee claimants, and people who have a positive humanitarian and compassionate grounds applications. The goal of the, of the program is to support people in their efforts towards regularization, regardless of what their status is. And that normally implies helping people connect with legal services for their refugee claims, their refugee claim hearings, their appeals, their judicial reviews, um, some extra processes where we're further down the line that they have to be stays of removals, pre-removal risk assessments, or more importantly, humanitarian and compassionate grounds applications. The importance of our work is mostly helping people have the right to the best claim or best application that they are entitled to. Unfortunately, we see a lot of people facing multiple intersecting barriers of language, lack of knowledge, where people don't know what to do and what actually constitutes legal services and legal support. And our support is critical to making sure people have the best chance to win their claim. We can't promise that they'll win their claim, but at least they'll have the best chance given their own circumstances. And nothing fills us more than joy than seeing people making informed decisions and being successful in making these informed decisions and hopefully becoming future Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Um, we normally collaborate a lot with different areas, specifically the clinic, settlements, and the refugee hub to make sure people are connected with their proper services. And we sort of are the little nerve center where we first were the first point of contact and then we follow through with each step until people are getting their confirmation of their permanent residence. We normally focus on very vulnerable cases, such as situations of domestic violence. Uh, like we said, we try to identify intersecting situations where people might not have access to English classes, technology, in order to adapt to the changing formats of digitalization from the IRCC and the IRB. And we wanna make sure no one is left behind as, the, as immigration moves on to the next century and it doesn't make everything accessible for everyone.